Hello everybody and um, welcome to this um, little bit of inspiration and education. So it's called the flower of the month special. So as you all know, we have the flower of the month every month and um, this is going to show you or I'm going to teach you a little bit more of bringing all those together because I know as crafters we get collections and we isolate them, don't we? We keep them all say the clematis or uh, the, the new fuchsia i can't wait to show you that one or the sweet pea and everything we, we think it, oh, we can only use it like that We're, where the flower of the month is all about giving you a flower every month for you to build a library of all these florals and then that library is there for you to build beautiful bouquets so that's what I'm, I'm going to do in this one. So we're going to bring some of them together. What also we're going to do is just um, update you on all the ones. So if you've started Flower of the Month only two months ago and you've missed out on all the others. So we're going to bring all of that together for you so, so you know everything with the downloads and everything because we've got a super special price for you all, okay? Which is going to be wonderful. So first of all, you're going to say, why are you showing me that this is beautiful? We have brought you something incredible. Now, as you can see, lovely. It's on 250 GSM. So this is the original paper our original, that we will print everything on, the pure print. Okay, this is our original pure print. Wait till you see the new paper. So this is our premium pure print. So this is pure print. Now watch this, look at that, isn't that just incredible? Same printer, we've not changed the printer, the ink is exactly the same, this is all about the paper, isn't it phenomenal? It just jumps off the paper. So this, so this is our original pure print, this is the new premium pure print. Yeah, very rich in colour. It just it absolutely brings it to life, doesn't it? It's so vibrant. So that is one of the... So we've got two, two different weights in this as well. So that is the flower of the month. That's the actual um, new fuchsia later in the month. But also I've got... I've just got a couple of other things that I just want to show you. So again, original, okay? And they're all printed on the same printer. Look at that. The green, the red, look, you can see. And this almost feels like it's 3D, as if I could actually get hold of that. Just stunning. So that is the, the lighter weight. Again, oh, this just absolutely, it's just incredible. Look, you can see straight away which is which. So this is the original, this is the new uh, one. But I love these. So all of them, so your quirky birds and everything, look at the difference. It it just bounces off the page, doesn't it? So that is our new Pure Print Craftmaster. So this is our pre premium Pure Print. So we've got it in 240 GSM. Now the, two, uh, sorry, 100, 140 GSM, but the 140 is 75 sheets, okay? Premium Pure 250 GSM is 50 sheets. So they're both A4, okay? So we've got 140 and then the 250 and they're $14.99 on our website or $13.49 for our fabulous Highlight Club members. So, yeah, the link will be in the description below. So you haven't got to worry about finding that. But isn't that just phenomenal? That how it changes the printing. But what it, I mean, it just amazes me that nothing has changed but the paper. That's all it is. It's a different paper and it gives you spectacular results. So... Why do we need to know about the paper? Because we are bringing you some phenomenal deals, okay? So we're going to run through them very quickly and then there's a little something else that I just want to um, show you. So the deals that we've got, look at this. So this is our clematis. Again, all of this is flower of the month. So our usual price is, is $55.97, which is phenomenal. Our bundle price is $34.99. Our lovely highlight craft members get it $31.49. So you're getting all of these three die sets that you see and 
and you're getting all of the paid downloads and extra colorways in with that bundle. Okay, so on the screen you can see at the moment is that lovely um, clematis. So you would normally pay for the dies and then each one of those sheets that you see in there, there's 15 sheets there, so it would be one pound per print. So this 15 pound, so that's the clematis. Then we have our beautiful iris, should be 51.97. Our bundle is 31.99. Highlight Club members, 28 79 So the same deal again, you get in the extra colourways in with the bundle. Yeah, fabulous. Then we're moving on to our lovely Sweet Pea. This, this is incredible. So the amount of colourways that we're getting with the Sweet Pea is phenomenal. There's 21 in total. So we've got 60 97 Oh my goodness, look at the bundle price, $34.99. And then for our highlight members, it's $31.49. Now that's a must have, isn't it? Just beautiful. And all the deals, just to let you know, they're only available for two weeks, okay? So from now until for two weeks, only 14 days, that is it. And then they go back to their originals that you will pay a pound per sheet printed. So we've moved on to our fabulous Lily, one of my all-time favourites. Bundle price, again, 58 97 which would have been this one, 36 99 And then we've gone down to 31 49 So remember, the bundles are all three dies and all of those colourways all together. So... This is the hellebore. Now we've, we've, we've redone the bundles for this one. So this was our winter bouquet, which was phenomenal. And it was all together with the greenery. So we've changed the bundles. So we've got a small bundle, 53.97. Bundle price is 39.99, which is just beautiful. Our club members get it to 35.99. But look at all those colorways again that you get in. So we've made it a smaller bundle. So that is just phenomenal. So now we've got our Holly Frost Small, okay? So these are the small versions. And when we've got, uh, so th this again was the Christmas uh, collection that we had because it was a much bigger bundle for the flower of the month on that particular one. So our normal retail, $22.98. Look at our bundle price for all of this foliage, $14.99. Then $13.49 for club members and if you have a look at that packaging and then look at the bottom, we've changed the colourway for you. So we've taken the frost off. So now this is an all year round colourway. OK, so that is a brand new colour that we've given you. So we've updated it now so you can bring you can bring it in all year round. But I do keep saying, Holly is not just for Christmas. OK, so we can use this all year round. The next one is our larger version so that one was a small now with with the larger so we with the standard so again 38.98 usual bundle price 29.99 members are getting this for 26.99 now when i say larger version these are substantial dies they're really quite you know there's a lot to these um so again look at the colorways on the bottom on the top you've got a touch of frost which has got the christmas the frost around the edges and but we've given you that new colourway. But the touch of frost, it, you can still get it. We've not taken it away. We've just given you more of them. So that's just fabulous. So this is our plant pot. So this is going to work brilliantly with all of these collections. So we've given you all of those beautiful uh, flower of the months. Now we're going to need something to put it in. So this is our fabulous plant pot. So extra discount on this one. So can you see 29.99? So we've brought it down to 19.99 and new fabulous club members 17.99. That's an incredible saving. And then we've got one more to show you is the vase. Now I love this because again, when you've got florals and flowers, you have got to have something to put them in, haven't you? 21 dies in this one. So this again is fabulous. We have again 29.99. Look at the bundle saving 19.99. But look at our Highlight Club members 17.99. And just for you Highlight Club members, remember every time you're purchasing, 
you're getting points. So if you're not a member, become a member and you'll start building your points. So all of our offers are available on ClearPay uh, or PayPal Paying3, okay? All our details are on our website. So our, our website is highlightcrafts.com, okay? Pop onto there, everything's on there. So if you've missed anything, or also for the plant pot on the vases and things, there are other colorways for you to peruse. Maybe you want in a pink one or something like that. So have a check, a check out on that. And then everything we're showing you, all the links will be below on the video for you to be able to go and find them and just click on it. And that takes you straight to our website, which is fabulous. So some, some other little bits that we've got. We have just moments ago, moments ago, so this is breaking news for you all, just launched these two. So look what we have now, again, just brilliant. So now, in addition to the plant pot and the vase, we've got this one, which is an interchangeable vase. And we've got our interchangeable bottle, okay? So the bottle, we've got three different sizes, all of these little bits so we can put cutting into all these edges. We, we make um, lids and tags. We've got all the videos. So all of this has been filmed for you beforehand. So you can now go ahead and just play. Again, links will be in the description, okay? And there are also colorways for that. Lots of papers. So check all that out because Remember at the very beginning, I told you about that brilliant paper. So if you're building a shopping basket, the paper is a must have. And then these dies, which are your um, uh, vessels to put everything in to build your vases and your flowers arrangements in are fabulous. So all these are gonna work together. So my favorite thing, as probably quite a lot of you already know, is working with the flowers. And this one, like I say, is a bit of a special because I'm gonna try and bring in lots of different ones so we're not just working with the rose or the clematis or it, we've got lots happening. So the ones I'm gonna bring, I'm just, I've just cut them out. Those colorways, I've got different colorways that I'm working with because it's really important that you have lots of variety. So here's that new, look at this. So here's the new of that, um, the new leaf. Isn't that brilliant? Absolutely phenomenal. So that's the small one. When I was saying at the beginning about the difference in sizes, look at those. That's a substantial leaf. Fabulous. And again, so we've got the little one, but we give you different sizes because you need different sizes to be able to build up um, one of the more realistic way of working with them. So that is going to be my background. Okay. I'm going to leave them to one side because we're going to work a lot with those because I want to share with you the new colorway. Then in here, and pull all these out. So I love it. Then we say, here's one I made earlier. So these are some of the colorways I'm working with. So this is the, I think this is the clematis, that one. Oh, got another one. And again, I've done different colorways. I'm bringing in different tones because I don't want, this is going to be more of a rainbow going on, okay? I don't want that we've only worked with white and we've only worked with the pink, etc. I'm bringing in more colors like you would when you go on to the websites that you can buy your flowers from the floral, you know, places, um, they give you the choices that you can have one that's a yellow or whatever, but then they give you the rainbow choices, you know, like for Mother's Day, where you've got reds and hot pinks and things in there. So that's what we're going to do. So this, put these to one side. I've just mixed some of these. So we've got sweet pea. Okay. Got the iris and I've got the clematis. Ooh. And I love the sweet pea. Now, when I actually get all these untangled, that's, that's my fault for putting them all in one bag. But I just wanted to show, I'm not, when I lay these out, when I start building, for me at the moment, there is no rhyme or reason to this, okay? When I start picking these up and using them, I'm not going to think, right, it's all gonna be white on this, white, this side. All that I'm going to be bothered about is the balance. Okay, so these tendrils on here 
are phenom phenomenal. And when we say that we push the boundaries of our dies, we really do. Because look how fine that is. And that's exactly how a sweet pea is. It's beautiful. And then it sends out all of these shoots that wrap around something else so it grows. So I'm just pulling out the white ones. Just separating them because it's a bit easier for me to grab the colourway that I want. So again, on here, can you see this rainbow I've got going on? There's so many colours. I'm not going to pick, say, right and sticking with pink or whatever. I will have literally printed a whole load. The only colourway that I am going to stick with is that I'm using these. That's it, the foliage. And that's because it's a beautiful new foliage. So we've given you that new one. Now, let me bring this in. Okay, this is now something, this is a Craftmaster product. Okay, in the back, we have got one of David Rice papers. Okay, um, I think it was just from, it's one of his older ones, but we'll find out what that is and add the link in. He did tell me earlier, but I've forgotten. Sorry, everybody. So in the back of here, our craft master frames, our 3D frames. I love them. I use them a lot. So they just build up. The ones that are scored fold up. So I've used the biggest one at the back. I've used the narrow one on the front. And then I've used our craft master and Stephanie's painting pages. Um, apertures. Okay. I've then put a little hinge in here. So now, when I've done this, I'm going to have flowers in the front, flowers in the back, so I've got lots of places to be able to put my flowers. I can really build this up. I've stick, stuck with black and white with these, but in the back I've gone for a lot more muted tone, solely because I want it to be about the flowers. And then, I'm just going to turn that round so you can see, it stands up. Look at that. So when you've got that on a surface or wherever in your on a windowsill, you've got all the flowers that are happening in here, but you're going to have all the flowers happening on the outside as well. And we are going to do a video of how I made this. So watch out for that coming, but it will be on our YouTube channel. OK, so, yeah, the video is coming and soon. OK, so again, just different ways of using these. If you don't want it to open, you can just glue it shut and have it hung on the wall. Just put a little um, a little hole in the back and just hang it on the wall or a little bit of ribbon. That would look fabulous. But I just really loved the idea of being able to stand that up. So let's get going. Again, like I said, I have got no rhyme or reason how I'm gonna work this. We're just gonna go with the flow of how the colors start to come together. So it was, so David's papers, Yes, it did tell me. Now I remember. This is from his Colour My World USB. So if that's what you're looking for, again, I believe that will be on our website under um, one of David's. So if you put in USBs at the top, it should be in there. I'll just put in Colour My World USB and it'll bring it up for you. But like I said, I've gone for the more muted. I should have known it was Colour My World because we're in Paris, aren't we? So, right, let's start creating. So one of my... I know I just jump in. One of the things that I find is really, really good tools is to have ball tool. It can be any ball tool that you've got and then have a one of these little sponge mat. It's just a high density foam mat. But that really does help when we're doing our shaping. OK, so I can do this. But one of the other things that is fabulous about ours is that we can also where we've got all these slits. So if I turn that over, can you see how many cuts are on the back of here? How much detail that there is in there, but that stops it cracking and it stops it from crinkling and make it not looking very professional. But now we've put all that detail in, but we can now add all of that texture. Now, one of the also the other things that I'm going to be working with is my favorite to work with my flowers is our Pinflare 3D gel that is also on our website everything that i'm working with you'll be able to find so the glues the adhesive the box the frames all of that on there so and also keep an eye out on our outlet so you never know you might find a bargain in there as well so you can either do what i've just done 
add some shape into all of this and then and again I'm not really being too careful with this how I'm working and now I want the big ones but again the snippability so I'm going to trim some of these down because I want some single petals so snip into here and I'm just letting the scissors do all the work so it's wherever the pip goes. So I'll start cutting and it jumps, you can feel where it jumps to the next one. Okay, ouch. Like so. And then like that, release this one from here. So that's another one. Snip off that and move again all these pips like so. So we've got lots of flower of the month now and I'm, I hope that you show me your makes after I have, you know, looking at what we've done with this, that it inspires you to get them all out and work together, work them together. So we have some singles. Okay. And again, as you can see, I'm not being particularly careful. I'm just, I'm just literally putting some shape in all of this, just so I've got something to work with. Maybe leave one as a whole one. And again, not being particularly gentle about it. But also think about the other mediums on our website that you've got to work with. So print these out, not just on the cardstock we've got here, which is a lovely, you know, you can your new one, but also. Um, vellum. Think about printing them on acetates and things like that as well, changing it up a little bit, but the vellum would look beautiful. Think about printing them on the rice paper and using them as decoupage elements onto things, uh, you know, matting, you know, layering them on top of one another. So now we can start working with the flowers because I just needed to get some of this shaped because it helps when you start building. And one of the other reasons why I use the 3D glue gel is because it gives me time to keep adding things in. So where am I going to start? Well, let's go in with the clematis. Or clematis. How do you all say that? Have I, have I sparked a debate there? Is it, is it clematis or clematis? I think it depends. That may be one of those area things, depending on where, where area you're from. Or it, it, how I've did a gardener. And I know the, there's lots of them. So that is our pink. Then I'm going to get one of the irises. And we're going to start placing these next to each other. Okay. Some of this can be snipped into because we don't want all of all of these. So now. And then. Into, right, okay. So let's start building. I'm still looking at, I've got my frame, so I know what I'm looking at with my frame. So if I bring that in and I start looking at where I want things to go. And also with this frame, we can pop it here or we can go right off the edge if we want to and bring it in on this side, okay? But I've got some smaller kilometers to be able to bring it in and we've got to think about balance. So that's something else that I'm, I'm keeping in mind. Okay. So this is the beautiful sweet pea, one of my all time favorites. So now thinking about that balance, where do I want that to go? There or there, I'm gonna go there, but then I'm going to go into my little packet of my other and bring out some of the small ones, okay? that might just fit in there. So I'm going to work on inside and then bring it out. So on the inside, let's go with the bigger glue gel. Okay. When I'm building something like this as well, I'm not going to go mad with the glue gel because I might really want to move some of these. I'm going to go that way. Try not to cover all of the Eiffel Tower like so. 
and then the smaller one on this edge because we've got the box frame we can actually really bring that up like so and bring it up on the frame not too much that we're going to be able to trap we're trapping it in there so then looking at the front oops yep and I'm also trying to think of what it's going to look like when it's stood up so I'm not going to go over this bottom edge okay because I want it to be able to open and stand let me move some of these this way so you can now pull it back in there. There we go, that's better. So now, can you see, when I open that, I've done the smaller one at the front, but when I open it, you're still going to get all that green behind. So I just want to put one more green in the background. In like so. Okay, move it to one side. That's it, happy there. And now we'll bring in the flowers. So the ones I've already got is this lovely clematis and that can sit inside like so. So again, a little bit of glue gel. Lay that inside. In fact, I'm going to snip. So remember, all of these we can cut into everything and cut it down to make it what we want it to be. And with this box frame, I can actually tuck it in a little bit as well. Look at that. Look how 3D that actually comes to life from there. It's just fabulous. So now I'm gonna go in with this one. I'm gonna cut a lot of this stem off. Don't want all of that. I'm going to cut that away. And this little one here, I'm gonna to keep to tuck in. I don't want all of that stem either. So I'm now going to shape this, but look how much we can actually manipulate all of these. Go back in with my glue gel. Whoops. Open that up. That is going to go in behind that leaf. Okay, that little bit of colour coming through yep and now the sweet pea and remember some of these I'm actually keeping so when I cut these off these are going to be tuck-ins to tuck it all back in again and again shape all of this pull it up and forward don't be scared to fold it on all those lines because that's what we've given them you for to add all this texture and definition. So now I'm going to leave that open and pop that in like so. We've got some fabulous colour now coming through all of this. Now while I'm looking at that, I've got something missing, okay? So we've got beautiful colour in the front, but we need that white. We need to bring back in the white of the frame. Now, there's several ways I can do with that. I could bring in this white one, which I think we'll use, but I'm going to cut it down. I don't want that green leaf. Let's snip that away. Okay, so that is to one side. Remember, when we're shaping everything, if we just go back in and um, again I'm not particularly gentle with anything am I? I just really just put some shaping but shaping have a play when you're shaping shaping from the front and from the back just to see the difference because I've shaped it that way but there's nothing now stopping me going in and just bringing some of this to life so swap that out bring this in So I am going to cut some of that away and push that, lift that up and push that right down there. So we've brought in that. Now these little curly cues, I've also got my book binding glue and of course it's blocked.
get my tweezers. Now I'm putting it on the back of my hand. Please only do this if you know that it's okay for you to do this. I use this glue practically every day of the week. So I know that I'm, I've patch tested and I'm quite happy to work with it. So now a little bit of glue on there, but I'm only gluing this piece, okay? Yeah, I'm only gluing here. I've not done the rest of it because I want this free. Because I'm gonna tuck it in and I've brought it over the top. See how loose that is? Okay, so I'm gonna snip away that. I've kept the leaf. I've got a little tiny bit of stem. And the same thing again. I want it very loose. I'm not sticking all of that down. Okay, so I'm just gonna press down on the stem and we're tucking that in a little bit behind. And then if you remember, this was one of the buds that I've borrowed. I'm gonna bring that back in. So we're bringing that color back to the front. Excuse me, with getting my head in the way, if it is in the way. Pop that to the front, but I've brought it forward. None of this is glued down except for at the base, like that, okay? But when we close that, look how much that comes alive. Now we're gonna start working on the front. So, let's go with the sweet peas again. But the sweet peas this time are gonna be at the back, okay? We might have to bring a little bit more of the white in. And now I'm gonna start trimming these down because obviously we've got a bit smaller on the front. These little tendrils, cut them off because I want those. Cut that off there. Wherever you can when you're cutting your foliage, if you try and keep a little bit of the stalk, it's easier because you can just glue that little piece down rather than the whole leaf. And now I'm just gonna have a look. Do I need to tidy anything up on here? Yeah, because we cut into that. Oops. So let's take that off. Keep my little curly cue. And then just here where it was attached, take that away. And then on this one, I'm gonna cut it from this side, because if I have my, my scissors at a 45 degree, like the die, and cut it like that, I don't get a white, I don't get to see a white edge. But I don't want that little bit stem. I'm quite happy with what's happened there. So now I've gone from one having one of our sweet peas and I've now got three. So two of them I'm going to go shape from the back and then pull forward. And then this one I'm going to shape from the front. But on the stem I'm going to push the stem back like so. Okay. So where am I going to want all of this to go? Up there. So that is on there. That's on this edge because the sweet peas climb. And then I want the smaller lilac. Bring in a couple of these and these are going to tuck in at the back. So again, we can use the um, build a bouquet elements as well because we've got so much to work with. So I want three of the lilac build a bouquet so I can bring the lilac in at the back because I'm going to use this one at the front. So can you imagine now with all of those flower of the months that we've got, whether it be um, starting off right at the very beginning with the roses, we've got the clematis, we've got the sweet pea, um, we've got the new, um, I remember the new, fuchsia, I knew it would come to me eventually. 
so that's going to go on there so now I'm going to tuck that in like so but I'm hiding a little bit of that edge okay so that's on there and now again with my 3D I'm going to have to refill this a second so I'm glad that's happened because lots of people say how do you refill your syringe take the actual syringe itself out can you see around the edge of there I've got lots of bits because when I seal my glue gel I make sure that I squeeze this to make a dome that way air can't get into it and I don't end up ruining my actual glue gel and then normally I would have a key and I fill it until I've got about a thumb width or a centimetre from the bottom and then pop the syringe back in okay that way you've got you can add pressure again and then when I've done with my glue gel I just give it a squeeze so I get a dome push it on because I'd rather waste that little tiny bead that dome than waste a whole tube of glue gel because I can't use it anymore because it's dried out or air has got into it and sealed it so now bring in this frame again pop that sweet pea in there this one is going in here so on there we've got the leaf okay we've got this this way but I've left it on move that to one side I've left this piece the stalk on so I could weave one into it now that gives me somewhere to stick the flower to if I'd cut that off and left it I'd have nowhere to anchor that flower down to now so let's have a look. Now I'm going to open it and have a look at it. Yeah, I'm quite happy how that's looking. But remember, I've said that I want to put some purple in the back because we've got purple in the front. Can you see all these colours? It's all about nature and there's nothing here that we're using that will not go together. So all those fabulous colourways that we've now given you that you can have in the bundles, absolutely go to town with all the colours that you can now build okay but by putting that green in first um people forget about the foliage when they make it they think yeah that it's it's, a, it's an afterthought whereas how i think about the foliage it's the first thing i do it's never an afterthought because without the foliage the flat the bees can't see the flowers because um, it's a case of this, how can they see the bright colour when it's not set against anything? So I can tuck that in there, but I love all the little spaces that I've now left. I'm going to weave this in under and over. Okay, so that's a little bit of the lilac. And each time I'm having a look, I'm chopping not all of the stem off, but I'm, I'm getting rid of some of it. Again, just do a little pinch shaping those flowers. Let's add that in there. Now pick that up. So I've got one, two, and my third one is going to come down here. Okay. So I'm thinking about the placement, but also when I close that, it brings the lilac forward. I'm thinking about the balance. What I need to do now is come across here a little bit, and I'm thinking about adding just a little bit of something in that top corner to balance it all out. So we do have, if you remember, I've got some petals, okay, some leaves that I've snipped into. And you can do this with the smaller ones, but I want some greenery here. Can you see the difference that has made by adding that green just there? Okay, so we're now going to bring that across this, this way. And I think... Let's go with, again, one of these. I'm going to chop into it, okay? Let's cut into everything. Don't ever be thinking, oh, I've printed all that off and I don't know. Let's cut into it all so we get the most out of it. Most of this is going to be hidden, which is not a problem. I'm just bringing back in the colour. Okay, so 
when I tuck this in, we're not going to see that. So I'm going to get rid of that and we're not really going to see any of this. So I'm going to get rid of that because that way I can actually tuck in and just see the little bit and I'm not wasting anything. Okay. So I'm just putting glue on there. Use my tweezers. Now this is going to go in and I'm going to overlap it and slide that in between. Okay, like so. And then we've got this smaller one. Same colourway. And there and there. That goes in at the top. Because I'm just thinking about balancing the colour and now I want some more pink on this piece. Let's go with this one. I've got a couple of pieces of pink there that I will take. That's the one I'm looking for. So now, I don't want this bit of the leaf, but I can leave the other piece in. Okay, I don't want this one. See how quick and easy it is to change all of your flower of the months as well. And that's because of all the design is being done for you and giving you that flexibility to make all of these changes. All of the cuts and all the detail that's been put into all of this really makes it easy to work with. So now let's go like so. Lift that up. Slide that in there. This one. This is going to go here. Um, I want a couple more of the leaves. And then I'm just going to fill that a little bit in that top right hand corner. And we're done. But how easy is this? To bring all of this together. So I'm going to go back in with that paler green. These are the scraps and the leaves that I've chopped away. I'm now putting back in where I want them to be. So I've rebuilt it, my own, made my own design on this. So that is the front, that is the inside. And I just want a splash of something here. So we're going to go with, oh, wait a minute, I want this on as well. the tendril in like so and the glue will will dry nice and clear for me it's, oops wrong one again put that green at the top and then I'm thinking what leaf could I have well maybe do I want that do I not so let's have a look at what we've got so we have used our um, sweet pea, our iris, our clematis, and our lovely new foliage, okay? So we've brought all of that in together. I'm just going to pop that at the top because I quite like these curly cues in amongst everything, okay? And I'm now thinking I want a bit more green in here. Yes, I do. Good job. Because at the moment, when I look at that, all I can see is pink and pink. If I lift that up and slide that leaf in there, that's now broke that up. Okay. 
then I'm going to pop another one in there, I think. Not quite so big. So snip into that, into there. A bit more glue gel. Pop that in like so. There we go. I'm a bit happier with that now. So let's have a look on balance what that looks like. I'm just going to stand it up so I can have a see. I'm actually really happy with how that has turned out. So lots of colour going on in there. So we've got the greens, the light greens, we've got white, lilac, pink, like this lovely red. We've got the purple in there. All this, we've got the peach in the iris. There is not one standard colour amongst any of this. We could go on and put, you know, a little bit more white. The only thing I would do probably is because we've got white in the background here and the frame is white is on this one. We've got a lovely little tendril there in amongst the clematis builder bouquet got all these singular elements so we can use those to our advantage so I've gone again can you see that I'm swapping back to front front to back so a little bit of wet glue on some of these and then I'll decide where I'm going to place them because I just want to so they're all my white elements so bring that in and I've got white down at the front. I need a little bit of white here, but I need some white at the top. And even though that is the tiniest little bud and you might think it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. When you pop it in, it really does, especially when you can see it with your own eye. Let's suggest you know, naked eye. And it really doesn't matter now where I place some of these. Just want that pop of white. So again, oh, upside down. I'm going to tuck that in there to hide some of it, like so. And that is our little bit of a bringing them all together. So if I turn that round to the front for you all to get a good look at. So what do we think to that? So let me move, move my hands out of the way. If I bring, look at that. All that depth and dimension. Look at all the, the we've got the shadow. Remember, we've got the box. So we, with these boxes, we've now created our own shadow box. But look at all of that that we've got on there. The, and all the flowers just work beautifully together. These are all flowers that you're going to find practically in lots of English gardens. So you're going to see the, uh, the, iris the uh, sweet pea grows beautifully here we've got the clematis which i know there's lots of variations of them but changing up that foliage and that dark green so we've got lots of greens going on because each colorway has got a different green to the stem and the leaf we've got all those other pops of color the only thing color that isn't in there is probably a little bit of yellow or orange but then it would make it very warm as well. You could put warm tones in there, which would, again, add even more. So even the yellow and the orange in this, it's a full rainbow of colour. But isn't that just lovely? And that's bring, that's only three of them. So now imagine if you'd got that fabulous paper. Remember the new paper? Premium Pure Print. It's on the website. Cutting all of that out and making this from that. So... We will give you the box frame as a, 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 a video very soon on our YouTube channel. So that will be coming to you um, for you to be able to make this. But I would love now to see all of you working with your flower of the month all together. So let's get them all out. Let's get them all printed on that beautiful new cardstock. So the colour is as vibrant as we can possibly get it. And we'll show you, you know, show us what you're making. Plant pot, bars, bottle, you've got so many different things to be able to work with this and we'll keep bringing you lots and lots of inspiration and education, both on our website, highlightcrafts.com and also over on our Highlights YouTube channel. 
So thank you very much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed the inspiration and, uh, you know, the education. That's what we're all about. And uh, I'll see you all again soon. You take care. Bye. If you want to see more from Highlight Crafts, make sure you click the like button. Subscribe by clicking the subscribe button below and click the bell icon to receive notifications of all of our future content. You can also click here to see our latest video or click here to see more videos like this one.